Yes, and technically I did crash that band. <laughs> Hi guys, right. so today we're having a conversation with Bibusi. He has recently become famous on Reddit and we're going to dig deep and dive and find out why this is. So, hi Bibusi, how are you going? Hi, yes, I am normal. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Bibusi. So, yeah, I guess I am okay, but yeah, I became an overnight celebrity in short. An overnight celebrity and you're not in the celebrity business you're not in the media business you actually do video um production from the coding side using um, compression but this time you're actually in the media for something that happened with your name so you want to kind of break down that story all right so what happened was i moved to Ireland this year early this year so after that what happened was i thought to open a bank account so after getting the bank account, it was okay. Still, I get the card. And after getting the card, I was seeing, and it was quite surprising. It's showing as the surname. Like, okay, so what happened is that I don't have a surname. So. Well, well in, let's get started with that. Um, are you, all right. did you not have a, a surname at birth? Or did you get, like, remove your surname? No, I don't have a surname since I was born. Okay. And, um. Follow up question that is is it that you did your parents also do not have a surname or yeah you know, your parents have the surname but I chose not to have a surname like yeah so in usually we keep the surname to make sure that the identity is unique and be like that so my case is that my name was quite unique and like in my school itself I was the only one with my name in my locality I was the only one in my name. Also, right now in this area, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one with this name so far. And also in Facebook, it's pretty easy to find me because of the first name is pretty unique. All right. So, so, so yeah, after that, so what happened is that when I tried to register for the, like one of the first legal things would be registering for our 10th grade, which is like the first, like before going to high school. So for registering that, I had to keep as Vibhuti. So I thought like my father's name, you could add as father's name. So that's the usual norm in India, having the father's name as her name. So then what happened is that I tried to add that, but they need some documents to prove that I'm Vibhuti Anand. But I don't have that as my birth certificate was having only Vibhuti. So in usually, in, usually in our place, people add birth certificate names with father. For some reason, in my case, it wasn't. So it started as that, and then in tenth registration, it was fine, made as Vibhuti. And a yeah, fun fact is that in our place, we can register our Google account without last name. It's not mandatory. And in Facebook also, it's not mandatory. I have. Only I guess that's super. Name. That's super useful for you, then. <laughs> yes. So in Facebook, last name is not mandatory. I can skip the last name. So yeah. So that's the story. So and even what fun fact is that when we try to register at some websites with Google authentication. So the website crashes as there is no surname. Okay, so so let, let's so just to uh, um, kind of compress things. You have basically from birth, the person who signed your birth certificate, they didn't put the surname. Then yeah. you, know, you tried to change uh, and put the surname, but it wasn't easy. But because of when yeah. you were in India, it was fine. It was good. Yes. So in 2018, I was trying to take the passport for flying first time. So for getting the passport, they were asking, what's the surname? I said, I don't have a surname. So they said, that's not possible. And I said, yeah, I don't have a surname. And so they said, add the father's name. Okay. Then I found, okay, you can add my father's name. They need documents. I don't have a document. So they said, step back, take a, publish your name in two newspapers, two leading newspapers in India that I am changing my name from this to that. And also put a notice in some of the offices of the village. I mean, the village office or the corporate office straining that I'm changing the surname for seven days. And after that, only I can be that show as that as an official document that my name is AJ. So that would involve at least two to one month bureaucratic work. And I had the time for like a, approximately 30 days for getting the passport then getting the visa then flying. So I chose wow. not. To. So that was a pretty intense rush. So I chose, okay, let's not do that. And I moved on with the 
without surname in the passport. Mm -hmm. So and yeah, so it moved passport, out. So it's, it's just Vibhuti. First name, yes. The surname column is blank. Okay, so so passport is blank. So not because the passport is almost like the most official document. So yes. Now you come across to Ireland and you open a bank account, and when you tell them you have no last name, what what, what did they say? They said my what's I said my name is Vibhuti. I said, I said what's your full name? I said my name is Vibhuti. They said, what's your surname? I don't have a surname. And they asked, like, what to do? And like, okay, I said, there is no surname for me. I, and I showed them the passports and they were like, okay. And even the Irish visa, which I got, the last name, actually the name in my Irish visa is dot Vibhuti. So <laughs> in the last name column, they put as a PD dot dot. So in nine out of 10 systems, I think they won't accept special characters in the name of column. and the passport for some reason it was fine and in other visas what they do is that they do add as first they would repeat the first name in schengen visas i mean so Vibhuti, Vibhuti. yes that's the schengen visas which i get and in germany it was vibhuti vibhuti in netherlands it was yeah it was vibhuti alone it, as i think netherlands did not care about the last name they was flexible i am happy they sometimes are very high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, okay. Now you have, um, let's say, this, you apply, you, you have a bank account, and now they have to send you your card. And then when you get yeah. your card, let's let's say how that looks, because you would have to open it. Yes. So I took the card and opened it. So what happened is that, and the name of the bank account address, so it's written as Vibhuti Null. So I was like, oh, maybe some printing error. It's fine. I don't. It's fine. So it's just the print outside. Okay, fine. Then I open that, and inside, that's annoying thing that the name itself is Vibhuti Null inside the card. Okay. And then I, then I was like, what the hell? So then I immediately logged into the bank, and in the bank itself, the record name says Vibhuti Null. So I was having no other option. So the bank gave you a last. Yeah, that is. I think. They did not submit the last name and the program crashed and gave a null. And that's a very high. Yeah, because I think a person, a person won't be adding a surname as null for sure. It should be a program error. Or I like what happens is that I need. So one thing I submitted is the passport and they would scan the passport and the surname wasn't empty and that crashed the program, which was scanning for sure. Well, that, that's that's super interesting. Have you contacted the bank? We just stopped the point of that. It says no. Yeah, I, so yeah, what happened is that whenever I call the bank, I get annoyed. So they'll be saying, hello, Mr. Null, what should I do? I said, what? I'm not Null, I'm Vibhuti. And yeah, your name is Vibhuti. And they, they assume that I'm Mr. Null. Soon to be Dr. Null. I don't know. Maybe after six years or five years or four years, if all goes well. <laughs> So I said, okay. And then I said to them, I don't have a surname. And then after that, I linked the card to my Apple Pay and Google Pay and all those stuff and the watches too. And if I change the card, I need to do the relinking again. That will cause a lot of a day. And the Bank of Ireland, I don't know why. I, for me, the, getting the card also was very hectic. I will say the story. So first I applied this. I was in the temporary accommodation. I ordered the card to there. So after two weeks, I did not get the card. I moved from there to a new place. Then from the new place to the place, I had to travel three kilometers. I used to either take a bus. Every day I need to, I will be spending 1.5 euros to check if the card arrived or not. And I did not get the card. I will be getting back. And after three weeks, I said to the bank, I did not get the card. Okay, we cancel that. In the morning, I cancel the card. And the evening... I got the call from the old apartment saying that there's a card arrived. And I said, oh, fuck, no. And then they canceled. I called the bank and they said, oh, it's already canceled. Just wait for one more week. And then I again waited. So it took around like one month or one and a half months to get this with null card. <laughs> right. And then you're like, I'm, it's too much hassle. I'm not going to go out and get another card. Yeah, because I already wasted a lot of time for this, right? Right, right. Okay, so let's talk about um, your Reddit experience. You 
Um, I guess we discussed the surname idea. And why did you post on Reddit? Yeah, so I do subscribe to mildly interesting Reddit. I do subscribe Reddit quite a lot. So I have mildly interesting. I think that name suits for this thing, right? So then I chose, I would, why not try to post this? And then I posted it in the morning after I reaching the office. Then I closed that. And after some time, then I realized I am getting like 20 or 30 emails. I said, okay, fine. Maybe some spam. Then I checked it's the message from the Reddit comments. Then I realized I'm getting spammed and I created some chaos in the Reddit. Then I checked it was like 600 upvotes. Okay, so oh, geez, 600 right? after how long? Like a, um, a few hours? Yeah, around like less than one hour. No, I think around like 20 minutes. So, okay. yeah. Wow. So, what happened then after that? I closed that and I was checking some comments and it was like exponential. Then I immediately what I did is that I unsubscribed the mail because it's too much spam. I'm getting like comments every second, three or four comments per second at that time. Per second, I was getting like three, four mails. I had to unsubscribe that. And so it was this is when you realized you were going viral. Yes. So after one hour, it started getting exponential. So when I checked every one second, I mean for like, I think, let me check. If I remember correctly, it was having quite exponential growth. Like, yes, I was, I was talking to my friend immediately what's happening at that time. Yeah, so after 45 minutes, so I posted, I think around like 10 a.m. in the morning. And by 3 p.m., I got 3K upvotes. 3K, okay. So from, this is from 5600 to 3K, okay. Yes. And by 4 p.m., I got 9K. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So it likes approximately 45 minutes for 6K votes. And then by 4, 6, I became 9.5K. And then by the end of the day, it was around 50 people. So I think per minute, I was getting approximately 100 votes. That was the... And by 5.30, it became 20K. Right. And this is the first time you've ever been viral in any kind of um, sense of, of the word. Yes. Yeah, by 7, it was 31K. And then... By seven, I started reaching the front page of the Reddit. I got a notification that I'm in the front page. Okay, so you, you now this is full virality. You're at the front page of Reddit. Yes, it was in top fifty. So you're at the top um, of Reddit, and there's all these comments. Are you reading some of them, or at what point did you stop reading the comments? When I started, like I'll be reading, when I'll be seeing the comments, I'll be refreshing. Then that. 20 or 30 comments will be gone and then a new set of 30 comments will be coming. I'll be randomly tapping something to read. <laughs> Else I it's not you really... Responded? Like you will remember when you responded? No, like out of 10, if you say an average, six would be same repeated question. How did you get... I How I did not get a surname? Okay. So, okay. okay. I said like, like, okay. I... Repeat questions and you're like, Hopefully they go up and read the original answer. Yes, so I ignored. I mean, it's it's not really ideal to reduce, read everything and move forward, right? So, so I go to the videos of you can like link it to the Reddit and you know everybody can access the story. Uh let's see what the internet says. I I don't know how this works. And then what happened? Yeah, so then. I said so there are some genuine questions which is not really answered. I would if I see that I will try to reply that. And, and then at some point you just you were like no more no. More. Yes. Yeah. No. Then then I un uh, post the notification from my phone because it's too much. Can't handle that. <laughs> okay. Did you um, share it with like any family or just friends or I know you used to share it with um, like professionals? Yeah, I did it share it to some of my friends and some professors. And then I was like, wow, what the fuck is that? 
and then in group chats out of this then people saying hello and all and i they say how did you know i saw it in the front page okay so i did not share without your sharing yeah there are few people in the irc chats of our group so that they are saying hello and so they saw from the front page oh, wow. Oh, wow. well i i think this is a pretty um cool story and it's something that you could always um use as a icebreaker yes. in any conversation yes. the time i got uh, viral i went viral yes i need to frame that yes i i predict for you and i think it could be one of those stories that you always remember yes and one thing i could even do is that i can try to talk to negotiate with the bank and fix that and i could be an evil and auction this card well that that's where nfts are there's a lot of interest around it um i guess the question is if if there's more media coverage around this um there there's possible local stations that may want to cover it or articles that they want to cover it and that could be fun stories about you um one of the things you may remember or know is that we like for instance for wikipedia to create a page about you you need several articles made about you from the front sources so this could be the start of your wikipedia page hello i don't know uh, maybe becoming famous is annoying i don't know wikipedia i mean and maybe many people might even uh, the good part is that if anyone searches my name it will be indexed at least <laughs> due to this threat so what would they be looking for the wikipedia which you don't know i don't know i don't know how it works it depends on the people or uh, maybe they would like keep my old name vibhuti anand because that's my email id i did not change that i took it back in my fifth grade and i assumed it will i can take like, vibhuti was an available in google for some reason <laughs> right okay you want the original yeah. vibhuti actually mail dot com and gmail and there's some other guy in my neighboring state because someone accidentally sent mail to that guy instead of me so then he replied i am not that person and that's how i realized there's an actual guy who is active in email with vibhuti@gmail.com so i wonder if he also has no last name <laughs> i don't know maybe we need to talk to him and i could even ask him if he can share the email but that would be dangerous because he has already all the contacts Well, I I think this is this is a crazy kind of cool story, and I hope um you do print it and um frame it up. Um, I guess I wouldn't keep this too long because I think you answered most of the questions. I don't know if there's anything else you want to talk about, and maybe you could just um mention anyways if people want to get in contact. It will be Reddit or Twitter. Or... Yeah, yeah, people can reach me out in Twitter. It's Vibhuti. That's it. That's my username. But your official at Vibhuti on Twitter. Yes, I have that in Twitter and in Snapchat. It's Vibhuti. There's no one with Vibhuti in Snapchat. Okay. Well, I'll put it on the screen so everyone, uh, if anyone wants to contact. Yeah, you can reach me out in Twitter. At uh, the username is Vibhuti. Yeah, the spelling is quite complicated. Maybe you can see in the description or the. I'll I'll put it in the description chat, and I will put the original Reddit post if people want to go back and see. All right, thanks. Yeah, sure. I think it's an interesting story, and it will be interesting if um some other um let's say news articles are probably written about it. Um, it it, it could be very interesting because in a sense you can yeah. crash um the bank bank app bank software. <laughs> yes, and technically I did crash that bank because it's an error. Yeah, that's an error, and it could be costly. It's um, I guess I, I would say that the most almost SQL injection in a sense. Yeah, and I I always when I try to purchase, I don't keep the card name because it's dangerous. Because man, maybe many sites would crash because of null. For sure, for sure, null null is yeah, a very so. dangerous word in the programming space. Yes. and i remember reading an article some guy had the car number plate as null and every number plate which person scanned he was forwarded and he got a 13k fine <laughs> that that's a, that's a funny story <laughs> yeah so it's a dangerous business to deal with null 
yeah well you maybe you'll become a dangerous person but um thanks so much for being on this um i guess video to be here explaining your side of the story and hopefully anybody who watches your video they find some value in this and hopefully a little bit of fun so thanks again yeah sure thanks